So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on it. Now once we're here, you wanna make the startup type disabled. After you make the startup type disabled, you wanna click on apply. And now you wanna click on stop, which will now make the service status stopped. And then click on okay. And now you wanna click on W on your keyboard. We're going to find Windows Update. You wanna scroll down till we find Windows Update. Double click on that. You wanna make the startup type disabled and then click on stop which will now make the service status stopped and then click on OK. If it starts running again for some reason, you want to double click on it and then click on stop and then click on OK again. For the next step, you want to keep this open, but now we're going to head over to search and type in Fad Explorer. Click on it. And now once we're on this, on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you want to find your drive with the Windows logo on it. Double click on that and then click on Windows. Now we're going to find a folder called Software Distribution. We're going to scroll down till we find Software Distribution. Double click on that. We're going to delete everything in this folder. So you want to do Control A and then click on Delete. If you get this, you want to tick the box, do this for current items and then click on Continue. If you get this again, you want to click on Cancel. And this should now delete most, if not all the items in this folder. For the next step, you wanna keep this open. Now we're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once we're on this, you wanna type in WUAUCLT space forward slash detect now. And then click on enter. And now you wanna type in WAUCLT space forward slash update now and then click on enter again. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. It should already be checking for updates for you, but if not, you wanna click on check for updates, which will now force a Windows update. That's how you do it.